Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Carrie, and I'm super excited because that's that one of those times of the month that I really look forward to, as opposed to that time of the month that none of us ladies look forward to. You know what I mean. But anyway, <laughs> it's just where my mind went because I'm an idiot. But this is my newest kawaii box. This is the one for, I guess this is for May 2017 because it's June 11th, I think, or 12th something like that. So this is the May 2017 Kawaii box. And um, I'm really stoked that I was able to get this. Thanks to you guys using referral, doing um, referrals. Uh, that is why I was able to get this box because I am broke. <laughs> so I won't be buying these anymore until I can afford to, unless my financial status changes or um, if you guys keep using my referral code, which I appreciate oh so much because it also gets you guys a discount, but it helps me as well. So I will post the link to my referral code in the Dropbox. Of course, you are under no obligation to use it, but if you can save a few bucks, why not? And it helps me out a lot. So anyway, let's get that plug out of the way because I've never been sponsored in any way by Kawaii Box. But let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. This is what the box looks like inside each and every month. You can read all that. I won't bore you. You can pause if you like. This is the card that comes every month. They've gotten really cute the last couple. I didn't get the April box. I got the March box and I had to take a break in April because I didn't have money. But then I was saving up referral codes. But that is super, super, super cute. On the back is the contents of the box. I'm not going to show you that now because I want to be surprised along with you. I'm going to open it this way because this is the way the tissue paper is facing and I don't want it facing me so that I can see everything ahead of time. Okay, let's see. This is going to be a food item, I'm sure. And it is, I know, actually I'm 99% sure this is a Sanrio or San X character, this little eggy guy. This is a like microwaving thing. Okay, so this is a DIY food thing, but you actually do microwave it. Is it like gelatin or something? I don't know. Let me show you guys the back. Of course, the directions are not in English, so I'm going to have to try to go by these diagrams and figure it out. I actually hate DIY food things because I have such a hard time figuring them out and I, they make me feel dumb. But yeah, this one obviously requires the use of a microwave. So that's something different and interesting. But we will see. We will see. So yes, it does say on the bottom, Sanrio license. So okay. I would assume this is then Japanese writing. Yep, for sale in Japan only, made in Japan. Okay. So that's kind of a meh thing for me. Not so much into the food stuff. I like the food stuff when it's like ready to eat. Not so much a fan of DIY foods. I know a lot of people really enjoy them, but like I said, they make me feel dumb. So, okay, I'm really, I'm not, I'm legit not looking at anything. I feel a key ring. Oh, that's kind of sweet. It looks like a little bunny. Because there's the little bunny ears back there. And it's got a little yellow ball and a little pink cube. And this yellow bunny has pink hearts all over it. Let me take it out of the bag so you can see it better. And is it like, oh, I thought it would be like, it's rubbery, but I thought it would be like a rubber ducky where you can squeeze it, but you can't actually. And it's got a hole in the bottom too. So it really, no, you got to squeeze very, very hard to get it to move. But it's really cute. Oh, and it, I like that it's got this little clippy on top, this like lobster claw clip so that you can attach it to things easily. Because these are a pain in the ass, you know, you can't really attach it to like a purse or backpack so easily. Maybe like the zipper part, but I really prefer when they have this lobster claw clasp, you can just clip it to whatever you like. And this character, it looks like is named Molong. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, wrong M-O-L-A-N-G, if you can read that. And this one is made in China. So that's actually pretty cute. That may go on my purse for a while. So I like that. So, so far one net item and one pretty cute one. All right, let's see. I try not to do these too fast because I enjoy it, but I know you guys don't want to be here for three hours. So let's see what's next. Double food item, which I hate. I know, I, I shouldn't be picky, but I would honestly prefer so much if they just put one food item in that they used to. Now they tend to put in two. Just checking, it looks like my mother is gonna come in the side door, but she's not, she's going out to the backyard. This is the second one, and it is a huge pink fish, and I'm hoping this is like some kind of a cookie, but it could be like, oh yeah, it feels, it feels like, um, texturally almost feels like a Kit Kat wafer, 
So I'm hoping this is just gonna be like a light airy cookie of some kind, obviously strawberry flavor. But that actually, I'm, I'm more, way more excited about this food item than I am about the DIY. They tend to just sit around and eventually I do them or I give them away because I just, like I said, they make me feel bummed. But I like this better than the other food item for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does. See, like inside, it looks almost like there's some cream. So I'm wondering if this is legit, like almost like a huge strawberry flavored Kit Kat bar with like cream filling in the middle. That sounds actually pretty tasty. I will have to get back to you guys and give you a review on that if you're interested, let me know. And I could do an on-camera tasting. I've never done that before, but if that's something you guys would be into, I would so do it for you. Okay, I'm peeking a little bit. Okay, this is cute. It is a deco tape set. I like this. I don't love it. It's a lot of different patterns of tape, but it's not like washi. It looks like it's gonna be like the regular plastic, more like scotch tape, so I don't think it'll be removable, which is kind of a bummer. And they're also teeny tiny rolls, so there's not much on them. What I tend to do with tape like this is I make bookmarks. I cut out the shape of the bookmark with like cardstock, and then I just tape it up in different patterns or whatever, and that's typically what I do with this kind of tape. Or I'll just use it to seal, you know, envelopes and stuff, but mostly I use it to make bookmarks. So this is kind of in the mech column too. So far I'm not loving this box, to be honest. My favorite thing by far is this bunny keychain. Okay, I've got to check the door again because my mom is like putting all this trash out at the curb and I keep seeing her, okay, she's going to the backyard again. I keep waiting for her to come barging in like a bull in a china shop and be like, hi, and then just like mess up the video. But anyway, um, and I know she'd have a conniption being on camera. She's not that kind of mom. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera whatsoever. Okay, this is a plushie or a squishy. It is a plushie. Oh, that's very cute. I think this is actually a Shiba Inu, which is freaking awesome because my godson George has a Shiba Inu named Max. His sister Kate actually has a Shiba Inu as well named Madison, but she is um, black and brown with a little bit of light coloration. This coloration is definitely Max colors, but that totally looks like a Shiba to me, which is awesome because I'm obsessed with both of those dogs. Okay, it's got this little rubber band around it. Okay, okay, so it hangs like this. I was hoping it would be a key ring, but that's all right. You could still actually hang it off of something with this little elastic, and if you don't want to, it's easy enough to snip off. I know my friend Weirdat was saying the other day, like with plushy things, she doesn't always like when they have the keychain on them, so if you got this month's box, sweetie, and you didn't open it yet, and you're watching this, know that this is super easy to cut off so you could just put it on your shelf or whatever and it almost looks like the size of a Tsum Tsum plushie so you could just like stack it with the rest of them it's bothering me that he's got this black schmutz on his ear that just kind of pisses me off but you know whatever it's just because i have issues but um other than that it's got this little bandana on it's super super cute very velvety i love the little tail and it's actually kind of got the curl in it but I, I don't know. To me, this definitely looks like a Shiba Inu. Tell me if you think I am correct on that. And this is made by Amuse. Let me see. Okay, so there's all different doggies you could get. Oh, there's a pug. I love pugs. My dad had a pug when he was a little boy, and that was his favorite pet that he ever had in his life. But yeah, that's the one we got here, so I'm pretty sure that's the Shiba. And okay, you can't really... I have to cut this so you can open the card and see the inside. But that is what the inside looks like. So there are four different ones. I'm assuming that in the Kawaii box you could get any one of the four. So I would have loved the pug too, but I'm actually really stoked I got the Shiba. So that's cute. And this is Amuse. Amunet.co.jp. Which is weird. So it's a Japanese um, website address, but yet it says made in China. So go figure. But yeah, like I said, other than that stupid black speck, which is really, really annoying me, it's adorable. Okay, let's see. So that's how many items so far? Two food, tape, and two, a plushie and a keychain. So we're up to five items so far. So we should only be about halfway through because usually there's 10 to 12 items, I believe. Let's see what's next. Okay, this hmm, feels very soft. 
these are adorbs okay i'm in love with these these are so cute look at these they're socks you guys it's that same little eggy guy whose name i don't freaking know but these are everything oh my god i love them and they just have yellow polka dots on the bottom and as you can see that they are copyright sanrio oh i wish i could think of the name of this damn little eggy guy oh, i can't think of it though but these are really, really, really cute. Okay, so I'm very happy with these. These definitely go in the plus pile. So, so far we've got three things that I'm like kind of, sort of, eh, and three things that I really like. So that's not bad odds. Let's keep going with the good stuff. There should still definitely be some sort of a writing utensil and stickers in here because those are like the official, pretty much every kawaii box has those in it. Okay, this is a Blippo kawaii bracelet, which I love if it will fit my fat wrist. It's really cute. Persevering star. I mean, hello, how could I not love stars? And these beads in between actually look like little disco balls. I'm going to take it out so you can see better. They are kind of fasted like little disco balls. And if you're too young to know what a disco ball is, ask your mom. <laughs> but that is what it looks like. These really cute plastic pink beads. And I can't get it to focus that well on the disco balls, unfortunately. But that's what they look like to me. Let's see. Will it fit my fat wrist if I kind of roll it on? Eh. It just fits. I mean, like, legit just fits. So what I will probably do is restring this with another piece of elastic and just add a couple accent beads to make it fit a little better because it's a little bit tight. But it just about fits. So that's not bad. I really do like these pink beads. These, I have a feeling, are going to, like, the, the, the silver is going to chip off right away anyway. But I do like the pink beads a lot. So that's pretty cute. I will put that in the plus side. So four pluses, three kind of minuses, I guess. Although the cookie thing, the, the, the wafer cookie thing sounds kind of interesting. So that might go on the good side. But yeah, we'll put that on the good side. Why not? As food items go, that sounds pretty tasty. Okay, so there still should be writing utensils in the stick or a sticker pack in here. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is adorable, but I'm getting really, I'm over the sticky tabs in kawaii boxes. Pretty much every single kawaii box comes with sticky tabs now. I rarely ever use them. These are adorable. They're like little sumo guys, but I'm over them. Yeah, we could do without sticky tabs in every single kawaii box. It's not like a pen where you just stick it in your purse and, you know, you always need a pen. Like sticky tabs, I don't know. Not my favorite thing. So that goes in the neck column. Design-wise, they're cute, but they're not practical for me at this point. Okay, so we're still <laughs> getting to stickers and a writing utensil. Okay, here are the stickers and... These are the stickers that I legit can't stand because they've got these, they're puffy and they come with beads inside and they're so impractical. Like, I know a lot of people really love these. These I would happily put in a friend mail or a friend swap because they're just not my style. I don't like stickers that I can't put in a planner or put in my journal or my junk journal and have them lay somewhat flat. I like puffy stickers, but not not this not this three-dimensional with the shaker beads so this is definitely not a good one for me and these two random like gems on there i don't know that just doesn't even look right to me so yeah i'm not thrilled with these either but whatevs okay so we're at four items that i don't really care for and five items that are pretty good so okay let's see this should probably be the last item it feels like it is this is the pen and it says, let's play right there. And it's got little googly eyes. And does the cloud say anything? The cloud has, um, I believe that's Japanese characters inside. Ugh, of course it doesn't want to focus, damn it. But trust me that it does. Okay, there you can kind of see them. You can't read them like to see what they say probably, but you can see that they're there. And this actually says 0.5, so does that mean that this is... Oh, it is a pen. Okay. Oh, and it's got a little red tip on the ends there. So I'm assuming that that comes off, and it's like protecting the nib of the pen, let's say. Uh, or maybe not. Okay, yeah. Let me get that off. I hope that doesn't mean that the pen was leaking and that it's not going to write. Let's say. Let me try it on the box here. Okay, that's really weird. I thought for sure that this would be actually a pen that wrote in red ink because of that red blobbity stuff on it, but no, it writes in black. 
Not my favorite pen. It writes somewhat smoothly, but honestly, it's one of the less cool pens from Kawaii Box. I typically like their pens a lot better. They write much more smoothly. The design, the packaging is cute. I like that it's got this pink grippy. And I don't know what this is supposed to be on the end here. It almost looks like it would light up. But no. And it's not an eraser or anything, I don't think. No. It almost felt like it was could be an eraser. If it was erasable ink. Oh, actually, am I just wrecking them? No, it actually... Okay, wait. No. It is an eraser. It does actually erase the ink. Unless I'm just rubbing so hard through this. Okay. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. That can go in the in the plus column then. That's kind of neat. I haven't had an erasable pen since like eraser mate pens when I was in like junior high school and high school when you were first able to start writing in ink and not in pencil, which I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. Kids can probably write with whatever the hell they want these days. It used to just be pencil up until like I think middle school, which we called junior high back then, which was 7th grade for me we were able to finally start writing in ink. Up until sixth grade, I think it was always pencil. Number two pencils. And then um, when we could write in ink, it had to be blue or black, like for pa test papers and things. In my notebooks, I wrote in whatever color I wanted. But um, yeah, so that's it, you guys. That is the bottom of the box. Here is the cute little, see you again next month which we shall see that depends on you guys no pressure <laughs> but yeah if i if enough of you guys use my referral code that i can get a, an expensive box or a free box i will obviously get one if not then i will be skipping until that happens again which will be an indefinite period of time because i can't afford to keep buying them but anyway this is blippo is their parent company where you can purchase items from past kawaii boxes if you missed out or you just, they, they have tons of other stuff too, but like if there's anything in this box that you like and you didn't order the box, you can probably purchase this stuff starting pretty soon, if not right away, starting probably next month or whatever, you'll be able to buy them. And if you use the code Kawaii Love, you can get 10% off your purchase. I believe shipping is free worldwide if you purchase from Blippo. And, um, you can use this code as many times as you like. It's not a one-time deal. So that's pretty cool. Um, the rest of this is all just advertising crap. So, yeah, I've shown you this all a million times. So I'm not going to show you that. Oh, get a free Kawaii gift. Okay, well, I'm going to keep that in case I order from Blippo. Because no offense, but I want to get my gift. All right, and this is the actual contents sheet of the box. Oh, this is the June box? That's weird. Because usually you get for the month prior so that's very strange i thought for sure this would be the may box um, yeah that's weird okay but whatever okay so this is what it says if you didn't look at it there number one is heart gutatama pudding diy kit okay pudding that might be interesting okay gutatama socks so that is the name of that character so two gutatama things and i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly if i'm not please don't yell at me my accents are horrible, but there are the little socks. Three is Amuse Mamashiba. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Plushie, which is this little guy. Um, Korean deco tape set. You saw that. Meito Puku Puku Thai fish shaped wafer. I Again, please forgive me if I brutalize that pronunciation. So it is a wafer. So it's probably similar to like a ginormous strawberry Kit Kat bar. So that's pretty cool. All right. Pastel animal stickers. Molang keychain, let's play gel pen, Japanese stick markers, and okay, so that's the sticky tabs, and then Blippo pastel star bracelets. So you got 10 items this month. This is the back of the card. I just noticed, okay, that Gutatama is actually laying on the beach with bacon as his little blanket, like protecting him from the sun. That's actually stinking adorable. So, okay, final thoughts. This is adorable. Love this. So that's one item for the plus column. Super into these socks. They are adorable too. So that's two for the plus column. This actually sounds really yummy, especially now that I know it's probably like a Kit Kat. So we'll say three for the plus column. These just don't float my boat. I know some of you are probably like, oh my god, they're the best thing ever. But it's just a matter of personal taste. I'm not into shaker stickers. So that's in the negative column. 
Again, these are cute in design, but I can only use so many sticky tabs and I have more than I need right now. So that goes in the negative column too. Same with this deco tape. If it was washy, I would love it, but the fact that it's not and it's just sticky regular, more like um, scotch tape, I'm thinking. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Some of these look like they may be washy, but still, it's such a teeny tiny amount, not a super big fan. So that's in the negative column. So right now we're tied with three good, three bad. This just sounds confusing as hell. The fact that it's pudding sounds kind of neat, but again, those directions look complicated and I don't like to have to think too hard about food. I just want to shove it in my face hole. So we're going to go with four negative column. This is super, super cute. I love this bunny. So that is going in the plus column. So we've got four and four. The pen was definitely going to be a negative, but the fact that this is actually a little eraser and I haven't had an erasable pen in forever, at least it worked on the cardboard. I'd have to see with actual paper if it's gonna tear a hole through, but it, I believe this is meant to be an erasable pen. So we'll put this tentatively in the plus column. So five plus, four minus, and this I think is actually really cute too. My only flaw with this is that it's a little bit small for my wrist, but again, a lot of people who buy kawaii boxes are children. Everybody has different wrist sizes, so I can't really fault them for that. And I will definitely just restring this. It's just very basic, clear elastic. I have tons of that in my stockpile, so I can restring it, add a few more beads, make it fit. So that's a plus. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six in the plus, four in the minus. Overall, that's you know, 60% good. And again, thanks to you guys using my referral code, I did not have to purchase this box. I saved up codes for a couple of months, so this was actually free to me with referral codes. Not free from Kawaii Box, mind you, not sponsored. Not spawn, hashtag not spawn. But anyway, um, so thank you so, so, so much, you guys, for using my code, for helping me be able to get these so I can review them for you. If you are interested in purchasing a Kawaii box, again, I will list my code in the Dropbox. You are under no obligation whatsoever to use it. But if you would like to, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it gets you $5 off your first box, which, considering the box is $24.95, if you just buy one month at a time, is a 20% savings, so you really can't go wrong with that. But anyway, totes up to you. I can't believe I said totes. I'm way too old to say totes. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Love you so much. You're the best, and I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye, guys.